tell gay men to stop having sex. <laughs> Sorry, what? Somebody has to. Why not you? Well, wouldn't it be better coming from you? It's a preposterous request. It only sounds harsh. You wait a few more years, it won't sound so harsh. You realize you are talking about millions of men who have singled out promiscuity to be their principal political agenda. <laughs> the one that they would die before abandoning. How do you deal with that? You tell them they may die. You tell them. Before any second date, I usually receive a phone call that starts with, now I don't know what you had in mind, but can we just be friends? No. Are you, uh, you glad I'm here? Oh, I'm pleased as punch you're here. You're very good looking. What are you doing here? Ooh, I'll let that tiny bit of self-pity pass for the moment. It's not self-pity, it's nervous. It's definitely self-pity. Do you think you're bad looking? Where are you from? <laughs> My name is Tommy Boatwright. And why don't you write that down? It's Tommy Boatwright. <laughs> In real life, I'm a hospital administrator. And I'm a southern bitch. <laughs> Welcome to Gay Politics. Thank you. Ned, I won't have anything to do with any organization that tells people how to live their lives. It's not telling them, it's a recommendation. With a shotgun to their head. It's interfering with their civil rights. You've been refusing to see her for weeks. He was furious with me when I waltzed in with her and... It was a real weeper, Mama holding her son, and he's dead now. There are going to be a lot of mamas flying into town, not understanding why their sons have suddenly upped and died from pneumonia. How you doing? I'm off, man. It's Kessler in San Francisco. Louder, Harry. It's a madhouse in here. None of the volunteers showed up. Mystical. Oh, dear. No kidding. Oh, dear. Ned's not here yet. The mayor of San Francisco has hey. just donated $4 million to their organization. We still haven't met our mayor yet. We met with his assistant about four months ago. You can only find room to call yourself normal. You made me sound like I'm the enemy. I'm beginning to think that you and your straight world are our enemy. I'm furious with you. And with myself and with every goddamn doctor who ever told me I'm sick and interfered with my loving a man. I'm just, I'm trying to understand why nobody wants to hear that we're dying. Why nobody wants to help. Why my own brother doesn't want to help. 